Nearly 200 years ago, English geologists used a local term to describe strange mineral veins in rocks. Now Perseverance has discovered comparable beef veins on Mars, which may change our understanding of Jezero Crater. On this episode of Mars Guy. In an episode two weeks ago, I wondered if the feature dubbed Bright Angel might be another example of the so-called Bacon Strip explored two years ago by Perseverance at the front of the Delta deposit. The original Bacon Strip, named for the trivial reason that it looks like one, does extend much further around and up the Delta fan, but it doesn't obviously connect to Bright Angel. Astute viewers of this channel will note that a color high-rise image has replaced the grayscale one in this JPL-supplied map. The first toe dip into Bright Angel revealed flaky outcrops that resemble the ones at the edge of the Bacon Strip, which, along with a similar look from orbit, led to my speculative hypothesis linking the two. But observations from the middle of Bright Angel start to reveal a different picture. Here's Mars Guy for scale. There's lots of coherent bedrock here, which provided the opportunity to do a grind with the abrading bit for a better look with the instruments. The result shows a very fine grained rock that's so weakly cemented that chunks of it broke away during the abrading operation. But it's the rocks further up slope that were a bigger draw. Perseverance was sent to inspect the geologic contact between Bright Angel and the darker rocks higher up. Were the Bright Angel rocks deposited on top of the dark rocks, like on a river bank, or did the river that carved Naret Vibalis cut into them, exposing them from beneath the dark rocks? Understanding this is critical to understanding when water was present in Jezero Crater. Perseverance drove to an ideal spot to figure this out, which shows some really remarkable details. Rocks with thin layering are clearly present, something harder to recognize below, and a clear indication of sedimentary processes. And many of these layered rocks have mineral veins that parallel the layers. Referred to as bedding parallel veins, they're recognized in many places on Earth. In fact, it was quarrymen in England, no, not these guys, who referred to them as beef, apparently because of the resemblance of the fibrous minerals in the veins to muscle fibers. Even the term vein came from quarrymen, according to an 1824 paper. Beef is still used to describe veins filled with fibrous minerals like calcite, gypsum, and quartz that have been documented worldwide on Earth. In a place called, of all things, Valle de Marte, Valley of Mars, I've seen beautiful examples of gypsum in bedding parallel veins, although I didn't know to call them beef. And they've been observed before on actual Mars by the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater. Their presence here and on Earth is thought to result from hydraulic fracturing of sedimentary rocks in the subsurface. So if we are indeed looking at beef in Noretva Vallis, and it still feels odd to call it that, this seems to be pointing strongly toward the rocks of Bright Angel having been buried. That would shift their age to being older than the olivine and carbonate rich rocks that are above them. And that would shift the story of water in Jezero Crater to a time before Noretva Vallis was carved and the delta fan deposits were laid down. But even more profound, beef veins on Earth are known for their fossil preservation and presence of organic matter. This may make Mars beef better than a Mars bacon strip. <laughs>